Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I don't have a whole lot to update on, except for the fact that I've completely fallen in love with A4 binders. And that happened very quickly. I wanted to do a very quick flip through of what I've been up to. This isn't the final form of these binders. I actually put in a very large order of pages and two more binders to move my whole collection to. I'll kind of explain my logic like as I go, why I'm switching. I know at the start of my channel I said I don't like A4s, but honestly it's not A4s, it's office binders. It's North American standard office binders that I dislike because that's what I started with, with Ultra Pro pages and Honestly, it was so frustrating trying to organize my inclusions into that. And although I still like A5s, I think A5s are great if you have a smaller collection or a very focused collection or you don't want all the really random stuff. Um, but, you know, as of my last video, I did... last video? Well, my other video... I did just buy a whole bunch of stuff just to have of Gin and Tay, and it was so frustrating not having anywhere to put them. It was so frustrating having no pages that were the right size. And I always just had everything in stacks or in different binders, and I wanted my collection to look more cohesive and together. And also, I have a very large collection. It's kind of grown really big really fast. and. A4 are absolutely the solution to my problems. So I went with Meow Cafe binders and pages. I'm getting two more of the exact same ones, which are the A5 Plus, or A4 Plus, A4 Plus, um, with the A4 Plus pages. But yeah, I'll just start getting into this because these are actually really full. Uh, some of these pages I will be moving to other binders and organizing better. It's just I literally took every page that I bought from my first batch and put everything I could into it. And then I put them into the binders for safekeeping. And then once my other stuff comes, I will move the rest of the collection over between the four binders. But I kind of wanted to just give a uh, quick flip through and an overview of why I'm doing this and why this is a really good option for either big collections or collections like mine uh, that have a lot of random size inclusions that you want to actually like put somewhere instead of stacks. So the start of this binder will stay the same. This is uh, was the intent. So we got um, Jin's uh, solo album, Jin, uh, The Astronaut. So I've started working on some fillers. This is from um, the poster. It's actually the leftover from cutting this one. And then also some backwards cards just to kind of like bring it together. Though I do have a double of one of these and I just need to find it and then it can go there and then it'll be a little more cohesive, but I'm not sure where I put it right now. So I've shown this part of my collection a lot, so not a lot to say. This page needs a lot of fillers. But I love this. I love having the four pocket, like the four cards on the same page. Again, if you're doing a North American office binder, I don't know what the official sizing of it is, but you'll land up with like two and then like an awkward um, horizontal pocket up here. Personally, I hated that. This is like, to me, this is it. I love this. It's gorgeous. Um, so we moved all the stickers, we moved the bookmarks. Um, I did intend to put the posters here. So this is kind of just a extra page. See what I do with that. Uh, maybe I can put a layover poster in here. But I only actually got... Although I bought several layover albums in order to get all the inclusions, my group board manager only sent the inclusions. So I'm missing like extra photo books and extra posters. Um, anyways, so I'll just go through this pretty quickly. Um, I also used leftover um, astronaut poster.
from the very first page to fill out this page as well because it suited the color scheme. Um, I may have to figure out a better solution for this since these move around a bit, but I don't want to just bust out a whole eight pocket page just for two cards, so they're going here. Oh, I skipped over Dick Nick, but you can see the back there. Um, so I also moved, and this is what tipped me over the edge into I'm going to move all my cards. I was having a really hard time thinking how am I going to incorporate like a four card set because a lot of the albums are four cards, uh, four versions. And I also really like having Jin and Tay side by side in the A5s. Um, but I was watching other people's collection videos for inspiration and the one that I liked the most was three across the top with the three matching across the bottom and then one in the center. And then eventually I will put in fillers to bring the pages together. So you'll notice that this is how I've set it up and I think it works really well across all of them. Uh, so we have the danger ones in now. It's still unfortunate that these are so big that they only fit the two pockets, but you know what? It's better than a one pocket and an A5 for me anyways, personally. Um, they're double-sided, so there's Yoongi. Um, and then like four us Jin. Uh, we have some gaps, swing for Tay eventually. But I just, I like how we can have like the co cohesiveness of having this go into like matching with this, matching with this, and then we have youth going into youth over here. Um, and then we have like fake love airplane going into that. So it's like, I like how I like how I can have everything together. Everything was so spread out, it was hard to organize, and this has just been like much better. I don't know if I have these quite in the right spot. Um, maybe, but they can always be moved. I did just move over a lot of this as an experiment, and then I just fell in love with how everything looks. So we have like lights and mots. And uh, then we're getting into like the best. And we're able to add like the flyers and stuff. I don't know why I did this. For some reason in my head, these were the same shoot and I put them together all happily and took a picture and everything. And then later I look back at the picture and I'm like, oh, I don't have Jin equivalent of this and Tay equivalent of that. So these will be moved eventually, but right now I'm just gonna keep them where they are. I don't know why I thought like that. <laughs> these are gorgeous. These are mic drop flyers and they are just, they look so good here. Oh my God. Anyway, so this is why I particularly love it because it's like, I can have these flyers, which are huge. They'd be one pocket page, um, but now I can have them together and that makes me really happy. And again, this sort of three and three and two setup, um, I guess it's just that scratch to have them side by side. So, um, so I gotta get the Tay equivalent of that for there. Um, I don't have all my Japanese cards in because I ran out of nine pockets, but I have a whole bunch coming, so everything's going to move. I was able to get in Army Booth, which will probably go to a different section, but right now this is where they are. Um, and then we have Fortune Boxes and the... I forgot what it's called. Mainly just Fortune Box kind of thing. The lucky, the boxes you can get in Japan only. And then the two Taiwanese cards. Um, so this is where it's just a lot of random inclusions that will go into other binders, but I want to use up the pages I had in order to count correctly for the pages that I want to order. So this I love. Having all these on one page, like beautiful, the best thing ever, super happy. They fit these pockets so beautifully. And then we also got these, and I'll make some nice fillers for down here. But again, it's great that they fit. Um, they're a little tight on this one, but I don't care, that's how they're going. That's what we're doing. Unfortunately, wings is just <clears throat> a little too big, so it had to go into a four pocket, which again, we can make extras for, or fillers for. Um, we also have Persona, which again, this, this is maybe like the only downfall is when there's inclusions that are only two 
um, or in my case, since I collect just two, I don't have anything to put in the bottom. Um, but it's honestly not a big deal. Uh, I was very happy I was able to fit these into one page. Like I find these are like stunning. That's my cat. <clears throat> I was able to move the triptychs in. And then we just have some proof inclusions. And I like how I can just put these like this. I was able to move over my wings um, postcards. So these have been kind of, some of these were sitting in a small binder from Amazon and others were just sitting in a pile because I wanted a good solution for them. And I really love that they fit nicely in these pages. They do move a little bit. You can see this one's moved. Uh, so I'll fix it, but it's probably going to move again. But overall, <clears throat> I can't wait to have the rest of the wings set with them. So, like everything just, everything will go together. And I will do a binder tour at the end. Um, and then we have the last of the wings with the stamps. Uh, these pocket pages also fit mini posters. The one pocket, so I have... Um, Yet to come sun. Mini posters at the back here. So most of the stuff at the end will probably land up in tour and muster binder in between things. But just really happy with like how the inclusions look and how things fit and how I can kind of bring the whole era of each thing together. So I'll quickly go through the other binder now. Um, and again, I'll just point out some of the things that just like made me really happy. Like I've struggled with organizing my binders for a long time. And by starting this channel, it's kind of uh, motivated me to look into organizing more. And I've been watching a lot of other people's videos for like, inspiration and things like that. And I'm just, I'm just so happy with how these are going. So I just wanted to share the progress. Uh, so some things in this will stay the same. Uh, I moved, I spent all this time moving my exhibition items into a A5 and then decided I have extra pages. Let's move them here and see what they look like. And again, I love it. I love the result. Uh, starting with uh, the butterfly dream cards or photos. I do really want to get the rest of Tay and Jin's set, but they're hard to find. And it's, especially on like resale sites, it's so tiring looking them up every day. Especially Jin. Jin's are never around. They're so, somehow I manage to get three and I'm very thankful for that, but it's like I can never find them. So not priority, but would love to have more. And I'm still missing, I forget if it's Japan or Korea postcards for this, which I have this blank spot on the back for. But we have all of the photos from all three series and the unreleased photo, the additional one. So I moved everything into here and they're not really set up in any kind of order except for I thought like what I thought looked good together. That's about it. Just aesthetically pleasing to my eyeballs. That's what I wanted. Um, but I love having the full, like the whole page spread. It's like, I think it looks really clean and sharp. I also, time will tell if the pages will get uh, scratched or cloudy, which is a problem I had with my other pages. But so far, I really like the clarity and the thickness and the weight of Meow Cafe. Um, I kind of wish I knew about them sooner because it's like really suited to my collection's needs. So um, I became a fan very fast, but we'll see how the pages do over time. But so far, I've moved these around a lot and there's still really good um, clarity. But yeah, now we have this whole set. Um, and then we're going into a proof exhibition. So we have like the lenticulars and their hands. Uh, we have the daydreamers exhibition. And thankfully these fit, they fit a little tight, but that's okay. I won't say too much because like I will do a proper binder tour and maybe the way I'll set things up is that I will just go the end of January to the end of January for this is where my collection is this like 
this is where my collection is, this is where my collection is going because I totally missed the mark on December because it was very busy. So we'll do our recap at the end of this month instead or just into February because I guess I have to wait for the supplies to arrive. Um, so yeah, and then we go into a different section. I didn't know where to put these, but I love them, so I have them here. I just realized that I usually have Tay on this side, but that's okay. We can change that later. Uh, so we have DeFesta, my absolute like obsession for a photo shoot, but we'll continue on. Um, that not sure what I have that in there for, but I might be able to use that somewhere. Uh, then we just go into, since DeFesta is Daikon Festa, we go into just regular Daikon items, like BTS Goes On Daikon. Uh, we have like postcards. Uh, we have this from the earlier edition, which are double-sided, and they fit beautifully in this four pocket. It's freaking gorgeous. The only downfall is I wanted a three pocket so I could put my bookmarks out, but um, they're sold out right now, so I'll have to get that later. So this was with the Tay solo album, but since I have a specific Daikon section, I moved Vicon into Daikon. And I think it looks great, so we also have all the additional items put away, which is fantastic. Way better than sitting in a pile somewhere. Like, I'm super happy by like with this. And then now we're going into Beavers, which is the fact. So I have this laid out with a couple extra fact cards from the uh, very first time they did this stuff, the first photo book, the first photo cards. Um, and then this page, I slowly hope to fill in as I find more cards, but they're actually kind of scarce right now. And I don't know why I should have probably just bought them at the beginning, but at the time I was like, eh, I don't need them. Now I have regret. Anyways. So these, I know people struggle sometimes. I was struggling with where to put these. These fit great. Um, and the two pockets. Oh, I have another page too. Oh, this is for the Beaverse postcards, which I will be getting this week, I hope. So we'll do like a little short on that. And I guess another single pocket. I moved over. It's too bad Tay's upside down here in order to be right side up there, but that's just how it is. We moved in um, the photofolio. Um, I got some shark and tuna. Have some fillers here, and I'll eventually get more. And we got their stamp sticker page, which I realize now I can also bring in the OT7 one, but we can do that after. We got these new lenticulars. This is the miscellaneous section. It still is a bit messy. Um, actually, should I set this up? Can I set this up that way? <laughs> my PTD photo gin. I'll set these up later. My husband's PTD photo with Tay. <laughs> um, yeah, so unfortunately since these are four, this last one's on the back. And of course these are double-sided. Um, I got some like season's greetings and um, winter package. We have some Mott's cards. This section was hard to organize, but overall I'm pretty like okay with it. I just need the little Tay and then we're good. It's not the most like beautiful thing to look at, but it's still pretty good. We got like the youth cards here or uh, photos. I'm not exactly sure what to call them, but we have those. We have the ticket holders from Break the Silence and from Yet to Come. We have the Mott's Inclusion, which I guess I could move back a few pages, but again, most of this was not really planned. I just put these in to get the pages used up so I knew what I needed. This is from the calendar last year. Um, we got some like the Blu-ray and stuff inclusions. We got HYOH postcards. We have like, I'm just so happy that everything fits like this all on one page. Thank you. Love it. I know they don't quite go together. Maybe we'll change it around later. That's fine. I just wanted to move them. I was just so happy getting them out of the other binder. These, 
I bought these and I was honestly considering getting rid of them because I hated, I hated how they looked in my other little binder. I hated how they looked in A5 and now that I have them in here, I'm like, this is great. I'm quite happy to keep them. But I really almost trapped, like, I just almost put them right up for sale and just said, like, I don't know why I bought these. But I love how they look and these two, like, they always felt so messy in my other binder and now they're just one cohesive page. Don't know what I'll do if I get the golden one that I'm missing for both, but we'd figure it out. Uh, these are just kind of the miscellaneous size, like wings. Um, great, they fit like the photo strips. We got the like PTD Polaroids here together. All butter and PTD. We got like the Japan FC um, sticker and the renewal. And again, all this stuff could move around, but I was just, Honestly, this was just a binder dump of the MISC binder. These finally have a home where they look a little bit more together, which makes me so happy. And then we're at the end. Um, I haven't moved any of my Korean album cards or my merch, and to or merch tour muster cards, but I literally can't wait to see what it all looks like put together. And right now these binders are pretty overloaded and I'm super impressed by like, they feel very durable. Like they're pretty heavy now, but I don't mind that. And honestly, it's like, they I keep my binder standing for the most part because I have um, limitations on shelving space. But I find they stand very well. They don't hang down. Um, they do hang down a little tiny bit more like just a bit just because I have them so full but normally I wouldn't have them this full like once I get the other two it's not going to be like this and right now I'm just using a backboard for the front and the back but these are very full binders and also this is such a minor detail but I really just like that you can change this like the color like I don't know if you saw but the last one was pink and this one's purple I'm also just going to show you how much is in this like these binders are good. They're good for big collections with lots of weird inclusions. So very happy with them. Can't wait for the next batch. Right now it's scheduled for next Monday, which means I could have things moved maybe by next week, maybe by mid next week, like Wednesday, Thursday. Maybe I can put up um, a video. And then as soon as we're done with that, I can get up a video of a proper tour and I'm super excited for that. Um, and I'll stop putting that off, but I keep moving things and I keep changing my mind on things, but I think we're in a good place. So I will do the full proper binder tour in the next week, two weeks. And yeah, thank you for coming by. Bye-bye.